My name is Rick Weisbord. I'm a faculty member here at the Ed School, and my work focuses primarily on moral development and how we help kids become caring, empathic people who are concerned about their communities and concerned about justice and the common good. I think one of the places people really get stuck is around two fundamental human and democratic rights that collide. One is the right to free speech. And as teachers, you know, I think we always want to be encouraging free speech, eliciting diverse views. But the other is the right to freedom from discrimination. So, you know, do we want to elicit diverse views on immigration when somebody might say the immigrant kids should be deported and they're immigrant kids in the class? So these are really places where free speech and the protection of human rights conflict. I think one thing that is, is very important to do that will help organize a class, but I think helps organize teachers, helps organize all of us as adults, is to create clear classroom norms around these things. So, you know, one of the norms is that we should assume other people's good intentions, that we shouldn't engage in, uh, in stereotypes of any kind, that we should challenge ideas and not people. Tell kids to appreciate the complexity of other people as they appreciate their own complexity. Once you create norms like that, I think it does make it easier for kids to engage in these conversations to feel some degree, a reasonable degree of safety, to feel like they're not going to be ostracized or the classroom's not going to fracture. And it may be reassuring to us to have those norms too. It gives us some guardrails in these conversations.